this was fucking wild. So you know they changed the Aunt Jemima um, syrup, right? Yeah. Say hello to Aunt Jemima's rebranded name and logo, the Pearl Milling Company. We went from this to this. Yeah. Is it true that um, Aunt Jemima's family was mad about this? I I don't I don't know, but from what I recall, that I thought the whole backstory of that was like not even to jump in that basket, but it was racist. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. Because it was like original buckwheat. So I don't no, know. No, no doubt. I, I understand that, and I heard that too. Yeah. But I could have sworn I also heard that um, what you called um, her family, her family that's alive now. They were mad that they're like, no, 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 leave her up there or something. Oh, no, right here, because right here. I don't know if that's true or not. Nah, right here. The story of Aunt Jemima begins with Nancy Green, a woman born a slave who the care, who, caretaker, character, who the, yeah, the character was based on. Okay, yeah, you hit me with a sneak word right there, boy. <laughs> I was about to butcher that. But the character <laughs> was based on. Chris L. Rutt, founder of the company, named his business after the old, Jama- old Aunt Jemima. The term was also an 1875 minstrel show song previously performed in blackface. Soul singer Kirby poked fun at the brand's name last summer in a viral clip amidst the protests that followed the killings of four unarmed blacks throughout the nation. Um, After TikTok garnered attention... Wait, TikTok? Damn, them kids on TikTok, they wowing. After TikTok garnered attention, Quaker Oats announced the insensitive name and packaging will be retired in June of last year, and the company acknowledged its origins were based on a racial stereotype. But nah, just in short, Aunt Mama wasn't real. This shit looks fucking weird. Um, I guess not. Oh, too so it was weird. made up, made up person name. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. So that's... what I was reading was phony, then. Yeah. But this is the future of our, our our beloved pancakes and syrup, or waffles if you get down like that. New name, same great taste. I I guess so. You feel me? You gotta get your branding on somehow. Well, hold on, man. Look. Type in, no, stay on this Aunt Jemima. Yeah. Type in Aunt Jemima family angry. Let's see. Huh. This is what I was reading. That's crazy. I thought she was a made up person. Oh, I got block ads on y'all too. <laughs> Any of these motherfuckers ad friendly? Newsweek, Daily Times, Daily Times. Show me some love. Aunt Jemima dis- <laughs> The ads is real, son. Bro, this ad game, bro. Hopefully, that's why we need y'all to subscribe so we can get our ad game cracking. Yeah, word up. You feel me? So we can get it, get it booming like this. We need y'all to subscribe because the way they throwing ads at us, we need to be able to throw them back. Please, y'all, subscribe, like, comment. We coming back more consistent. We fixed all the issues. I promised you. Um, but this is crazy. So yeah, I thought she was made up. Now we finding out she was real. An unlikely food, uh, the descendants of two women who portrayed the Aunt Jemima character on the Quaker Oats food products are expressing concern about the company's recent awakening of the proposed decision to scrap the controversial imaging, saying it could erase their family's histories. The relatives of Lillian Richards and Anne Short Harrington, the two deceased women who were hired by the company to portray the character in the 1920s and the 1930s, spoke out this week after PepsiCo's Quaker Oats said the brand's origins was based on a racial stereotype. In recent weeks, the 100-year-old-plus brand, mostly associated with pancake mix and syrup, has been under fire for being racist following the murder of George Floyd in Minneapolis. The police, which has led to the reckoning about the racism and uh, you know about this shit. 
Um, wait, what does it say though? Inspired, we know all that. Inspired by that, often equated. Yeah, we know that. I guess what that's what they said. It was one. I thought it was going to be a picture of it. Go back. Down. It says uh, the injustice for the family. Go down more. Right here. Okay. The injustice. This is an injustice for me and my family. This part of my history. This is part of my history, sir. Larnell Evans Sr., a great grandson of, excuse me, HarringtonToolPatch.com. The racism that they talk about using images from slavery that comes from the other side, white people, this company profits off images of our slavery, and their answers is to erase my great-grandmother's history, a black female. It hurts. Uh, according to Evans Harrington, the fourth grade shit, hold on. According to Evan Harrington, beginning appearing on the company's products after being discovered by Quaker Oats in 1935, he said she toured the country serving flapjacks. While, oh, I didn't know. She, she, she made them, too. Right okay, up. shit. Serving, I didn't know that. Yeah, you know what I mean? Serving flapjacks while clad in, uh, in the Aunt Mama uniform. This woman served all those people, and it was after slavery, he said. She worked as Aunt Mama. That was her job. How do you just? How do you think I feel as a black man sitting here telling you about my? Here we go with the ads, sir. Uh... Please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. YouTube, Facebook, we see y'all. Please like and subscribe. Drop a comment. Please do so we can run our ads up. If you're watching this, drop a comment. If you like it, good, bad, good, you know, uh, like it so we can get the engagement up so we can send send it to more people. If you're jumping in and out, we appreciate that. We appreciate you. Um, the strand of tonight is Gorilla Glue 4 or Gorilla Glue XL. I am S. Uh, that's SP the dope. I'm this beat. <laughs> but according to a Arrington Havington, beginning, uh, da 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 da. Yeah, I know she was all right touring doing flapjacks. But in 2014, Evans tried to all beat the successful Sue Quaker Oats. Oh, he tried to Sue Quaker Oats for three. For three billion, damn! <laughs> I ain't mad at him. Who oh, tried to read that twice? I ain't mad at him. Okay, fam. Wait, I ain't. Mad. I ain't gonna hold you. They probably had a reason to take your your mother off the thing. Your, 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 uh, it's like uh, claiming the company used Harrington's recipe for Aunt Mama pancake mix and neglected to pay her to send us any royalty. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That was an original recipe. Hey, yo, listen, fam. I don't know what they whipping, man, but. In the mid 1930s, Richards, a Texas native, also became an ambassador for the brand. Okay, after being discovered by the company in a nearby Dallas, according to her great niece uh, and family historian. Okay, they had to switch him out. Yeah, your grandson, wow. Uh, though the relatives understand the company's decision to rebrand, uh, they are concerned about what will mean for her legacy. Uh, we just don't want my aunt's legacy to be making. I, I get it, honestly. We can keep going, but I get it. You get it, yeah, P? Yeah. We get it. Um, we get it. We don't want your aunt to be removed. We 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 respect her legacy. We know what Aunt Jamama meant to the community and to you. But they we are now going forward with the Pearl Milling Company. Yeah, it's gone. It's gone. There's no going back. You feel me? You had like a a, a ninety year run, a thirty year run. Granted, just not counting the um the the rebranding and i'm not trying to sound insensitive i'm just like look the we're in a different like i just said we're in a different world like in the last topic when mm -hmm. i just went in and i was not a topic that was you know comfortable for us but this one you know look we're in the world's in a different place fuck it we're moving on to the next one um we got